Okay, now we're going to do solving equations by subtraction. In the previous video, we were doing equations by addition, so this is just actually going to be just the opposite of what we did in our previous video. We're going to work with our inverse operations, so you know your inverse, you know, inverse op operations, right? So these, since we're subtract, well, inverse operation of subtracting is adding. And the inverse of adding is subtracting, right? These are inverse operations. And it kind of tells us what we're going to do here, right? It says we're going to subtract. So each of these numbers, we're going to have to do some subtraction. So here we've got x plus 3, and it's going to be equal to 5. Your inverse operation of addition is subtracting. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. 3 minus 3 is 0, so you just left with an x over here. you got 5 minus 3, which is 2. Wanted to use a model. Got one, two, three, four, five. We've got like this little rectangle, right? It's just that we, we know this whole problem here is equal to five, whatever, right? And we know what three of them are. So this is our unknown. You, you got two little squares here. So once again, x is equal to two. Last way to think about this before we move on to the next one. Let's say you, you go somewhere, you spend three bucks. And you got five left, right? Oh wait, I'm sorry. Let me read. <laughs> you didn't spend money. You got three dollars. Some somebody came along, gave you some money, and now you got five. So you started off with three bucks. Somebody came along, and now you have five dollars, right? So they gave you one, two. So they they gave you two dollars, right? Think about this on the number line. You got three. Now you got five, you got four, that's a one, two more dollars, right? And I always kind of like to think about what's what's happening mathematically. So here you've got x plus six is equal to three. So what's our inverse operation of addition? It's subtracting. So let's go ahead and subtract six from both sides. Plus six minus six is zero. Three minus a negative six is a negative three. It's okay if you get a negative number. I know in the previous video we didn't have any negative numbers, but negative numbers are okay. And that and this works. So you take negative three plus six, and that is equal to three. Let's look at our next example here. X plus nine is equal to zero. Whoop. Come back, x plus 9. Come back, come back. All right, I want to erase it. Didn't like me erase it. You got x plus 9. You got 0. So think about this. You, you start off at $9. You go somewhere. Come back broke. How much money did you spend? Well, you should probably be able to intuitively say you spent $9. Well, let's use our algebra skills. Our inverse operation of addition is subtraction, so we're going to subtract 9 from both sides. 9 minus 9 is nothing, 0. So you're just left with an x over here, minus 9. To plug it back in, you got negative 9 plus 9, and that is equal to 0. Last problem, you got x plus 1 is equal to a negative 1. Remember, negative numbers are okay. Don't be afraid of them. Some, you know, sometimes when people see this negative number, they freak out. You know, hey, don't freak out. It's, it's all right. Just, just do your inverse operation. So if you're adding a 1 here, to get rid of it, you got to subtract a 1. If you subtract a 1 from this side, you got to subtract it from the other side. you got x is equal to negative 2. We plug that in, negative 2 plus 1, and that is equal to negative 1. So we got the right answer. And there's lots of negative numbers in the real world. If you're bank checking account ever goes overdrawn, that's a negative number. If you ever owe somebody money, that's a negative number. So lots of real, real life applications. Uh, good luck with this and enjoy.